Hi, I'm Brian with Pioneer Builders. Today I'm going to talk to you about ERV maintenance. An ERV, commonly called an energy recovery ventilator, is something that doesn't take a whole lot of maintenance, but you do need to maintain it. And there's one thing in particular that is very critical, and that comes down to the actual filter. This one here is the FV FL1310 VEE -E VE1. I'm going to put that up on the screen so that you can see what that is. You might have noticed it had the number 13. That's for MERV 13. The uh, unit that we're going to be uh, doing some maintenance on is the Panasonic IntelliBalance 100. That comes standard with a MERV 8 filter. On the scale, the higher the MERV number, the more particulate matter it's going to be able to filter out. Now our houses are probably a little more complex than the typical residential construction that you're used to seeing. We, we install standard in ERV. One thing that we offer to our homeowners, we're a building con contractor, is basically a recurring maintenance where we come in and we check things out periodically. In this particular home that we're gonna be working on today, the uh, homeowner, the wife, has bad allergies and so while the ERV came with a MERV 8, we're going to replace it with a MERV 13 and see if that doesn't help her out. There are other things that you can do in terms of tweaking how much airflow is being pushed into the house, uh, maybe the exhaust rate, how much time it's going for, but this is going to be our first level filter, literally first level filter. And we'll see if this doesn't help her out because ultimately you want to be comfortable in your house and if we can help her out with her allergens, that's going to be a win. Let me meet you up in the attic. All right, we are up in the attic, and I'll show you just a couple of things. So this here has been taped with uh, aluminum foil tape. At some point, the ports were lost. That's for your testing ports. If you're in a cold climate and it's been cold outside, you might need to pop those little, their white plugs to allow any condensation to escape. In this case, we're not super cold. I'm not really worried about it. And I've already popped the hatch. Okay, so here's what you do. First, kill the power. But to make sure that you've killed the power, unplug the unit. Uh, I'm sure that any electricity will have dissipated. Quite honestly, there's, uh, I'm not gonna be doing anything around electrical components, but safety first. Now here's a couple of things. They've got these clasps on the side. You're going to want to take those off. I'm doing it blind and it's a stretch. Okay, so they've got hinges at the top and what you can do is hinge it and do all the work. But I'm going to show you something that you may not be aware of. At the top, there's these little, I don't know what you call them, but these little toggles that you can take off. Now what I can do is hinge it, slide it that direction. Right, so what that does is because of this configuration with the ductwork, gives me a lot more space. Okay, now if you come around, I'll turn on my cell phone camera so that you can, or the light, so you can see it a little bit better. That is where the uh, outdoor air filter is. That right there is where the air comes in. And let me go ahead and pull it out. And take a look at that bad boy. So that has definitely been filtering and Greg has actually cleaned it off in the past. Now if you look in here, you can see that it needs a little bit of cleaning. Might as well do that while we're here. And that's kind of Interesting that that's, there it goes. So that damper is open and I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum it. This is the old one. So before you have it installed, 311.24 and today is 10.21. 24. And in the meantime, I think 
Greg, did you clean this already? Yes. Yeah, so it was new and it's already been clean. So depending on what's cleaned a couple of times, depending on how, um, where you live, occupant behavior, well, occupant behavior wouldn't have too much to do with it. This is just outside air coming in. Anyway, so you wanna make sure you know what direction the airflow goes. So I will grab this and just show you the installation. So airflow, and the nice thing is Panasonic has this arrow here. So make sure your arrows align. And we are now installed. And now it's basically a reverse path. It's gonna be putting the, um, the hatch back on it and you'll see that. I'll try to get that done lickety split here. So we got the hinges back installed. Make sure that that's seated nice and tight. Bring your hooks back on. Plug it in for the power supply. Turn it on. And then the last step you're gonna to wanna to do is hold down this filter reset button. So I double checked the ventilation rates and right now each fan is set for 50 CFM and it's running 100% of the time. You might notice that it has this duct coming over and basically what it is is it's ducted to the return side of the air handler up here in the attic. So the air distribution is getting 100% of its distribution utilizing the fan in here. So I'm going to talk to her and just see if she wants to use this. Uh, indoor unit upstairs which would help to augment this as opposed to turning up the air that's coming in and making that fan work even harder um, and it will also be really interesting to see whether or not this helps her with her allergies throughout the year all right I'm gonna go talk to the homeowner and uh, let's go ahead and close this out thank you so much for watching I hope this helps you if you're a homeowner mechanical contractor there's a little bit more steps than we might be thinking of, especially with those ports. That's something that definitely wasn't on my radar. Give me a follow over on Instagram at Pioneer Builders Inc. Now go build something.